Hello and welcome back to Let's Play A Dog's Life. I'm Hasdi. Last time we got to our last area, he just randomly stood up on his own there. Uh, last time we got to this area, which is the city centre, and we are going to hopefully complete it this time. I don't know why I said two that way. I said two instead of two. I don't know. It's a great way to start an episode. These last few episodes since I've come back from my break of recording have just been the weirdest. And if you haven't been enjoying these as much as my last ones, then I'm sorry. I can't really do any better since before I was really in the zone. Now it's just slightly a bit more out of the zone. And I just want to run in the road here. It's a bad kit bad eye kids. It's a bad IKEA kids. It's a bad idea, kids, to do that, so don't do that. Anything in this room? I'm gonna regret coming in here because now it's gonna take me forever to get out again. There we go. Let's go down again. Let's get off this before the dog passes me or I'll be shot three million miles up in the air. I'm joking, that doesn't actually happen, but if that did happen, that would make this game like a million times more awesome. Just because, yeah, it would. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really explain it any better than that. It would just make it a bazillion times more awesome. So, what we want to do is come up here where this bandit was, and as you may have seen a couple of times in the last episode, if you come up there too quickly, you will shoot off the end because dogs don't know how to use stairs, obviously. If you've ever seen any videos on the internet, dogs don't know how to use stairs. It's an unfortunate fact, but it's true. But anyway, let's come back down here, and I am very tempted to go over there to see what that golden light is. See, it's clearly a bone. Oh my goodness, I've just fallen down the stairs. Even after warning you that you will likely fall down the stairs since you're a dog, I still fell down the stairs. So we've got five more purples to go. There's a breakable fence over here that I haven't broken. <laughs> I managed to break with just a flick of my nose. So if I can go in here by doing a ballerina spin. Anything for us? No, this is a completely pointless alleyway, which two out of the three of them are completely pointless, I think. Well, the other one, I think it's got Hit more... Again, my um, I think it's got more... What are they called? Um, they've got more food in it. So, if you're short on food, you can go there. There's probably going to be plenty of food there. Plenty of food there. What, what does that even mean? This smells like the bone I used to bribe the dog catcher's dog. Anyway, there we go. There's the dog catcher's dog. Wait, it's not the dog catcher's dog bone. It's my bone that the dog catcher's dog took. So, we want to collect up this last orange and complete what is the last challenge in this game involving another dog. So, what we want to do is beat this dog at tug of war. So let's do this. I'm going to say that because, as I said last time, I'm trying to cover up the clicking noise even though it looks like it's not actually working since I can still see them in my recording. <laughs> Yay for my ineffective methods being ineffective. Ah, the joys of being an inexperienced Let's Player. Oh, I missed... There were two bones on top of each other here and I didn't even realise. So let's lock that. Let's try this again. Take that again. There we go. Knock it down. I seem to be having a hard time knocking these things over. I don't know why. But anyway, let's head out over this way. We've collect up our last purple scents. Because I think that is all we have left to do. Um, nothing in there. Um, anything in the road? No. What's the... What's with all this traffic? What's going on? All of the traffic that's normally driving... This is all of the cars that normally drive around here. They're all bunched up in one place. There's the last purple. So yes, we have completed this level. We have completed every level apart from the final areas. And yes, areas. There are two areas. It's kind of like a half and half thing. And you'll see what they are when we get there. I just want to ram through... <sighs> I am determined to ram through this even if it kills me. There we go. Right, I've come in here for absolutely blooming nothing. I thought there was food in here, but there's not. That's the one where you get the purple, so... Not the purple, the violet, so... Yay! We have got two completely pointless alleyways, which is lovely of them. They could have at least put some colours in there or something. But anyway, I'm going to save quickly because we are heading off to the final areas now. So I'll just save real quick. There we go, we have managed to save. 
like it was a challenge. I've just said that, like it was a challenge. Yes, we have achieved saving. I don't know, in some games it might be a challenge if finding a save point is really difficult, but in this situation, it's not. They're on every level, yeah, on every level apart from the last one, so how is it a challenge? I don't know. Ah, I still don't get what's going on here. Ha! Ah, look at this! This dog is just stuck in this car. How did this happen? And it's blocked up all of the traffic. Yes, my ways of blocking traffic with a dog have passed on to others. I have become greatness. Which sounds mildly epic, but then considering what I just said, it's kind of animal abuse. But anyway, now that we have completed every level, got every bone up until this point, we're going to head to the final areas, collect the final bones, and complete this game. And for once and for all, we will get onto the plot, even though up until now we have just been completely ignoring it. Literally, we have been completely ignoring the plot, and I am serious about that. 70 bones, that's where we need the 70 bones, but I've got 46 more than we need. But anyway, we're not going to ignore the plot anymore, we're going to save Daisy. So let's do this. This place is terrible for my allergies. Wayne, I'm thinking of opening up a hypoallergenic dog grooming parlor. What? So people like you can enjoy playing with doggies. Hey, guys, you late? Yes, sorry. We had some difficulties. Miss Peaches is in a very bad mood. Worse yeah, she kicked a kitten and punched oh, a dog. Yeah. And, I brought and that's, my that's not for her. She blew her top. Said Boom City dogs were filthy. Said she wanted a nice, clean Clarkville dog to be the first to go in the big machine. The big machine. I think she wants to hurt them nice doggies, Wayne. You know she's pretty Wayne. evil if the dog catcher Voldemort doesn't want to just talk to her at all. This is pretty serious. We've got a problem on our hands. But anyway, here we go. This is our last area before the final. The dog pound is kind of part of the final. What the idea of this is, is we have to free these dogs. As you can see, some dogs that we've met in our travels have been captured here, and we have to free them. How do we do that? With these keys, obviously. See, that was that was just pro. I managed to get that perfectly timed. It's like I've done this before. Oh, wait, I have. I have a very bad feeling about <laughs> This is my this. second recording of this. Basically, what we want to do is just run out here and grab these keys. And then return Come to... On, let's move it. Where is it? So here. Ooh. You gotta watch out for the dog catcher's dog, which is just wandering around. You wanna be careful. If it catches you, it'll reset the area, so you don't want that. So be careful, obviously. Um, so what we're gonna do is run all the way over this way. And up this hill. There are bones, like you can see there, it said dig for a bone. You can get extra bones here. Um... But I am not going to do that, because, uh, well, it's easier to do this first, and then, obviously, later on, it'll be more evident why it's easier to do it this way first. But what we want to do is run all the way this way, and obviously free another dog. That last dog I freed, I think it was the boxer dog from... What was that one from? That was from the cafe at M Lake Miniwawa. Uh, this one is a bulldog from the chicken farm. And let's just run out here. I've only just realized right now that I have no sound <laughs> from my video, which is probably not very good, but yeah, it's fine. We'll just carry on. Just carry on. That's what us British do. And I'm just going to jump off of there. Because it just makes this all the more easier. All the more easier? Is that really... I don't know. That's not very... That's not fantastic English. It's pretty bad. Where's this dog gone? Because jumping down there means he has to run all the way to the other end in order to catch you. I mean, look, I've just stopped and I've got so much time. It's just that I want to play with the dog a little bit more since it can be quite fun. Where is he? Oh, there he is. 
Whee! If you just run around in a circle, he'll chase you. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round, baby, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Anyway, enough of that silliness, let's move on. And free our last dog, the Dalmatian, from the uh, Clark's Wheel Water Wheel. See, right now I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be sound, but I can't hear it, so I can't really commentate over this, unfortunately. I'm sorry if I'm talking over them. From the basis of this, uh, do uh, dog catcher Voldemort there doesn't want to be a dog catcher anymore, so he's leaving, and he's just going to walk away like that anyway. Um, but the dog catcher's dog has gone up to that house up there that we went up to for the second key and is guarding it. You require 90 bones to get past him. Um, so if you haven't been following along, make sure you grab 90 bones. Speed runners, make sure you have 90 bones by the time you get here. There are loads of easy to find bones around here. I mean, I've just picked up two. Ooh, three. Three bones so far, are there any more here? Yep, there's more. There's another two on top of these cages. So in total, there's five on top of these cages. There we go. And there's another four laying around the map somewhere. Or should be laying around the map somewhere. So let's jump down. Dig over here. While I'm just running around uh, collecting up the final bones of this game, I can mention that in this game, there are two dogs that are mentioned but are never seen. There is a foxhound from the Whoa. chicken farm that, that is mentioned but is never seen in this game it's just it's mentioned it's even one of the few dogs with a name but is never mentioned i don't understand why they didn't just put them put that dog here since why not it's apparently it's been captured but nope we're not going to put it there for some reason we'll just use root old dogs i don't maybe they got lazy and didn't bother mm. to animate more dogs or something i don't know whatever their reason they didn't put that dog Zip here. There's the also a uh, family dog from the village houses that is mentioned but never seen. And a little girl at the cafe in Lake Miniwawa said she lost her dog also. So those three dogs could have been here, but no. Um, as you can see, there's one last bone out there. There's 125 bones and there's the guard dog um, that we have to get past. It's back here. This one took me a while to find since the first time I recorded this. I had no idea where this was because Bone really unlit. there is just no marker for it. As you can see I was looking at the house there was no marker for it. It's just I don't know why they didn't make that one more obvious. They've made every other one in this game really obvious but they didn't for that one. I don't know but there's the last one. We have 125 bones now. We have 100 percented everything before the final boss. It's finally time to move on to the final area. So next time we'll be moving into the final area and hope you complete this game. So until then, like, comment, subscribe and all the other good stuff. I've been HasD. So until next time,